<laughs> Are you okay? My name is Sherry Berman, and the name of my film is My Life is Abraham Lincoln, and it's a surreal comedy about a woman trying to emancipate herself. <laughs> Well, I started writing this seven years ago, and here it is screening for the first time. So, ta-da! Um, so it's been quite a while, and actually I just recut it, so it's hot off the press from a week ago. Getting paid for your art is always good. Absolutely. I'll remind you that you said that the next time someone offers you a job doing caricatures. Very funny. Well, how is life as a fine artist? How are the sculptures coming? Good. I'm um, doing the new series on Head. It's really freaky. I come to new filmmakers uh, often. I really love this festival because you can do different things. Like a lot of festivals, they say they're independent and, and it's fine, but they're not really trying to do new things. Like my film's a little weird and it's nice to have somebody who's willing to take a chance and show something that's different and pushing the boundaries of filmmaking rather than just showing, you know, a romantic comedy, which is lovely, but not different. Who picked up the body from the morgue and dumped it in the river? A drunken sailor? Some friend picked him up because your day didn't have any living relatives. We should probably call the police. No, we can't. Why not? Are you two forgetting how he died? Any extra investigation will mean another autopsy. Right now they're convinced that he died from having his head cut off. A pretty good assumption considering they didn't know he was dead before. And with the water log, not to mention the bites and general decay that went on when he was underwater. They probably won't do a thorough exam. I'll tell you, most pathologists are there just for a paycheck. Very few coroners are artists nowadays. The thing about this film is it's all about this woman figuring out her life for herself. People who have seen this film before often come out with different ideas of what actually happened, and that's the point of the film. So some people think different things have occurred in the person's life that the film is about, and it's fictional, but they come up with different ideas based on what they've seen, and that's, uh, that's the point of the film, is you come up with your own point of view of life. And it's, it's very surreal. People are singing in parks all of a sudden. A film noir scene suddenly happens out of nowhere because it's all stemming from her and the, uh, the lead character's point of view of what's going on around her.